Greetings from the frozen tundra of Slam Bone Field in Grim Bay, Wisconsin, where legends like Slits Bombardi and Threat Carve thrilled crowds stuffed with beer and cheese. We're sure to see some more classic action today if time doesn't freeze. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers and lots of lots of beers. The Purple Mutant Eaters go up against the Grim Bay Attackers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, Pop? The panty wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions, water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. the defense and you better believe they will and it's first and ten talk for the first down First down and nine. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board! The defense can do anything to stop from throwing that good, Grim! You mean aside from bribing the ref who killed the quarterback or actually playing some defense? <laughs> Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. You know this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Well, that should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, 
I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The defender's work just kicked in, he's and he's out to the races. The 20, the 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Since when is that a penalty? <laughs> Since now, I guess, Grim. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down and forever. Second down in a mile. And that's the way you do it. Eat up chunks of yards with pinpoint passing. Third down and the punter is warming up. some payback after that and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt his knitting is superb grim that cross stitching unbelievable and he just lets that one go he says no thank you and the defense downs it and it's first and ten Pick up three on a short pass. Second down and seven. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and ten. There aren't too many players that kids can look up to at home. And boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham a sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. Too close, though. Yep. I feel like I've been here before. Is this deja vu? This is like our Brazilian season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time more dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. down give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off he is deadly in the open field bricks and it's first and ten man what a hit that was second and three
trying to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Roid Rage brings out the worst in anyone. And he finds open space is running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. He just got crushed. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down and six. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. Ah, oh, that is such bullshit. I got money on this game. These guys need to talk to the ref about those calls. If I talk, I mean stomp them into the ground. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. Second down and more. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And that is caught for a first down. Oh, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. And they 
pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. Third down and three. Wow, the quarterback just threw a second and he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. Oh, nice hit. Second down and six. And they call it ginormous. Oh, he was hitting mid-hurdle and fumbles the ball. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. The defense calls it a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Griffin, and it keeps coming back to him. <laughs> Second down and long. He picks up a two. Third down and, well, good luck. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Yo, man, nobody can touch me on our ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Don't you talk about it. And here comes the extra point attempt. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like Here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First down. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know? Good communication is important. Huh? Oh, with the punishing hit. Second down and nine. Huh? 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 Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes up, and the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? Because I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> First down and three. <laughs> Two minutes remain in the half. Great! I gotta take a dump! Again? You just went. How is that even possible? Ah, it's the nachos, man! Want some? <laughs> Passes for a touchdown. And this werewolf is from London, I believe, signed in the offseason. Yeah, I saw him at Trader Tech's hotel bar the other night. His hair was perfect. Better watch out. He'll rip your lungs out, Bricks. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. A 
home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And he's running like a... If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Second down and two. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback just like that. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. You understand me? Third and four. left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be. They stumped the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. That pass play was good for three yards. <laughs> second time. They used their second time out, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point, and drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's almost poetic, Grim. What a high cool. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. products like ground up use it on pesky weeds or neighbors and they'll be gone by morning the third quarter is about to start as the teams take the field this game has been one lopsided route yeah football games are kind of like boobs big or small they're both great except for when they're lopsided see that boob baby i'm the greatest no you didn't see that because i'm too fast <laughs> The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. up nine yards on that catch. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, 
Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. Second down and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Good thing you didn't Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sit straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. That's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Second and three. He turned into a mutant fireball with that flame on dirty trick. And anything he touches gets floppy. and stumbling he could go all the way and it's first and ten hey man you see that that's right you can't handle this you can't handle what i got yeah get the hell out of here man Second down and more than the QB would like. Chunk of yards on that pass play. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And 
it's first and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down in a mile. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. Second down in a very lot. Nice pass. That catch is good for six yards. And that'll bring up third down and seven. You've got to protect the ball better than that. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. What you talking about? And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. And that's an incomplete pass. Looks like the defense got away with that one there. Uh, I didn't want to grab the receiver like that. He could get hurt. Third down and ten. Nicely done for a first down. And it's first and ten. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And it's first and ten. You know why? I'm not too fast for it. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. And they run it in for two points. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. You usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck, which is typically the amount that quarterback tips on dinner. It's a time warp dirty trick. The last play is a race. How did they do that? Did they go 88 miles per hour? Just asking. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Way 
to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh... <clears throat> up five yards on that pass play. Third down and three. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking this guy. Oh, oh. oh welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. He blasted and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend. I didn't. I love this job. Third down, and the punter is warming up. heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. with the punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Right rage ignites that deep down violent rage and makes you unstoppable. I'll take a right rage with a bucket. He can go all the way. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. It's a touchdown. Seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. They want more points, so they're going for two. And the defense stops him cold. That play just got blown to hell. Yeah, it got blown to shit.
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. Nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pal? Second down in a lot. <laughs> the ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. And that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. It's do or die now. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Quinn? Aren't we all? Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? Ooh, baby, I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> and it's the quarterback calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Ah, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. That's it. That's their last timeout. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two minute drill. Cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. If you get one more bullshit penalty, you get one more for free. You'll also probably lose the game. Yeah. Just do the attack ref dirty trick. Yeah. They've got to pick up, the and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. And the quarterback threads the needle, and the offense is still alive. Great play for a first down. Oh, this game is so exciting. I think I just grabbed my pants. You mistaken, man. You get up in my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. Looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. <laughs> oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part.
That was a good throw. And assuming he was aiming for the ground. And the quarterback signals for a hurry up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and play. And they fool the defense with a run play and pick up the first down. Oh, this game is so exciting. I think I just peed my pants. No, it was the other one. Uh oh. He got rid of it out of bounds. That's better than throwing a pick, I suppose. Sean kick and make a kick like this with his extra leg. He used it like a golf club. That wasn't a leg, you moron. That was tripod Jenkins. The one with it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Head. Put that one in the loss column. The Grim Bay attackers lose the game. And they lost me 50 bucks. The opposition came into town and stole one from them. It's a bitter one point loss. Just like a thief in the night. They should go to jail. Stealing ain't right, Grim. Let's listen to what the game's most valuable player has to say about it. Why? The guy's got the intelligence of a horseshoe. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.